They've sold more than 20 million records. They're backed by popular demand and they're celebrating as well more than 40 years in the business. I'm delighted to welcome the original drummer, Romeo Challenger. Hello, Romeo. Hello, good afternoon. How are you? Not too bad at all. Not Excellent. Too bad. Uh, does it bring back memories when you when you listen to Hey Rock and Roll? Yes, it did. Well, it, uh, funny enough, I listened. I mean, I don't hear the recorded version of it that often. Yeah. I mean, we, we play every night on stage, mm. but I was just listening to it, and I, then, it, it, to me, it was just like yesterday, and I was just listening to it, and I think, oh, I, you know, I remember doing this and that. I mean, that day, it, when we recorded it, mm. for me, it, it's, it was so memorable, because it, that, that was the first time we got a chance to sort of, uh, uh, record a hit single and stuff like that. So it mm. was really, to me, the excitement was still there. Because that was your first hit, wasn't it? Hey, it, was our, it was our first hit, yes. And you penned it, like surely yes, when it, you wrote it. Yes, it was. I mean, like, we all had the credits uh, with it, but it was actually um, written by Trevor Oaks. Ah, right, okay. I mean, we'd all, I mean, thing is, I mean, we, were, we were all credited, you know, because we all had the in input yeah, with the yeah, song. But I mean, like, the melody and stuff was yeah. Trevor Oaks. <laughs> think when he came to you with that song did you think oh yeah actually i reckon we can get a hit with that well um well the thing is you never know i mean we we, we thought it just might yeah. work i mean the thing is what happened is uh when we did new faces yeah of um, course yeah yeah which is like x factor <laughs> thing and we never wanted to go on it and um so i mean obviously the pressure was was put on us by our management mm. because he says well the, the thing is if you're going to be you know, if you want to make it in this business, you need to get, you know, to as many people as you can. Yeah. And you're never going to be able to gig enough to get to... And I mean, remember in those days, there, there weren't many shows no. about. So you would probably be playing to, like, 20 million people mm. in one in one um, viewing. Because, you know, that's the way TV went that way, then they. So, um, yeah, we said, um, yeah, we'll, we'll do the show anyway. But, no, cut the story short, like, a producer called Mike Hurst... Um, saw us, who's with the Springfields, mm. um, who had Dusty Springfield in the band yeah, at the same time. Yeah. And um, he wanted to sign us up, blah, blah, blah. We had a meeting. He said, what songs do you have? And of course, there was quite a few songs on it, but he picked Hey Rock and Roll. Oh, and that's how so we came to record choice. it. I yeah. see. Because what was it like going on New Faces? Was it nerve-wracking? Well, it was for us. But I mean, the thing is, it was nerve but it was quite, it was quite sort of and it, I mean, so it, exhilarating, really, yeah. because, I mean, the thing is, in the end, we must remember, as I said, we never really wanted to do that. Yeah. We never, we, you know, we didn't want to think that we were going to be a sort of one of these talent competition bands. You know, yes. like, the, at the time, it was, uh, you know, uh, Huey Green's programme, you yeah. know, and all the rest of it, you know, and... Um, double, what was it? I can't even remember the name of the, the, the programme now. Um, but uh, it was... Talent, the talent show thing, even now, has... A bit of stigma towards yeah, it, doesn't it? Yeah, of course it, it does. Yeah, yeah. You know, we just wanted to gig, gig around, do all the clubs, yeah. move up to bigger clubs, mm. universities, mm. concerts halls, and so on. Because mm. weren't Shawaddy Waddy an amalgamation of two different bands? Yes, we so were. So you had two lead singers. Yes, we, we, yeah, we, <laughs> we had two to of everything. Actually. <laughs> yeah, and it, well, I was yeah. going to go on to say two drummers. We had two drummers. Were yes. you like I'm better than you? <laughs> We yeah. worried about your place. Yeah, yeah. Well, we, but yeah, it was. I mean, it was two bands, and the thing is, I mean, I tell you how how that um, came um, to be. It was mm. that uh, we both shared uh, a gig on a Tuesday night in a pub called the Fossway in Leicester. Yeah. And uh, you know, we just decided that you know, you know, let's let's see if we sort of get together, do a sort of rock and roll review, and see how that uh, turns out. As it happened, that went down better than what you know the gigs that we were doing. Yeah. So I mean, like that's the that was the start of it, really, you know. Wow! Because I was saying about um, Shawadi Wadi, the name, because um, it's only really occurred to me that it that it is an unusual name. Where did you get it's, that from? It is. It I'm is. like, who was it that went? Oh, yeah. No, well, the thing is, the thing is, well, Shawadi Wadi actually, it sort of uh, represents a sort of music we we wanted to play at yeah. the time it was um we want we, we were well into the, the rock and roll stuff and all that yeah. but we also like doo-wop yes. now in doo-wop music it's like you know it's basically vocal harmonies and mm. stuff like that mm. and of course if you listen to a lot of doo-wop you know they, they, the back and vocals will have bap bap shuwadi wadi mm. bap, you know and uh, and you know we thought well you know if you take it from that 
that was sort of a, give people a good idea of what the band was really all about. So the name Shiwadi Wadi is taken was taken from a do what backing vocals. Ah, oh, I see. And actually, it was uh, a band. The song was called Little Darling, yeah. and the name of the band was called the D the Diamonds. Ah. So, I mean, you're still going yes. after more than forty years. Yes. Has it gone in a in a blink? For me, it has. Yes. Yeah. It's uh, it, 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 to me. It was just like yesterday. I mean, the, the, I mean, we were cons constantly touring, never stopped at all ever. From the day we went on stage, um, 1973, mm. we've been touring ever since. And does it ever? Do you ever think, oh, I've got to do it again? Or mm. is is the energy and enthusiasm still there? No, no, it's always like that. We always want to. The thing is, the only the. the, the the downside of sort of being in a band, whether you've been yeah. doing it for 40 years or four years, is what gets you after a while is the travelling. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, the travelling, yeah. getting, getting there is a hard chore. Actually, being on stage is always a pleasure. Always. We love being on stage. So you, so the, so you probably endure five hours going to a gig to do an hour or so, whatever. But, you, you know, in the end, it's worth it. Because, you know, that's what we want to do. Perform on stage for the fans. Because I understand as well uh, that you, last year I think this was, uh, you did a once in a lifetime arena tour. Yes, we did, with the uh, Osmonds, uh, David Essex and Les McEwan's Bass Issue Rollers. And what was that like? That was fantastic. Was it? I mean, we've, we, we did one bef previously, mm. um, must be six, seven years ago, and that lineup had the Osmonds. David Cassidy and David Essex on it and you know that was also a, you know a fa fantastic experience how cool is David Essex he is absolutely <laughs> a gen and he's a really good I mean I had, a ch I had a chance to sort of you know have sort of uh, you know chat with him and all yeah. that and he really is really down to earth really nice guy yeah and, and actually very shy uh, funny enough it's strange, isn't it? Very shy indeed. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. and you might think, and the thing, the thing about it, you might think he's a bit standoffish and all the way. It's not that. It's not. All, it's the shyness in the man. Yeah. Which I think is quite good because you know he's he's had obvious uh, massive success not only in um, the the uh, recording side, but but in theatre as well. Yeah, of so. course, in the musicals. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I was talking to a guest earlier today, and I was explaining that I was talking to you, and uh, she said. That, oh, I went to university with Ben, who is your son. Yes, I mean, yes. Who, yes. I mean, is an incredible athlete. And she said he was the coolest cucumber ever. Uh, but, of course, he was exceptional in the high jump. Yes, he was, he was. Yes, yes. He, he was uh, on the 23 European champion. Um, he wow. went to Sydney Olympics and competed there and all the rest of it. Yeah. So he's, uh, yeah he's, and he uh, got medals, didn't he, in the yes, Commonwealth Games, 98, 2002, I think. Yes, he did, yes. Wow, proud moment for you. And yeah, it is. And, and now, I mean, I, and now he's going to be um, expecting a baby <gasps> with his wife in two or three weeks, and he's going to make me a granddad. Wow, which I'm quite proud. That's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Do you know what they're going to have? It's a boy. Yes. Oh, so what's he going to go for? Sport or music? Do you I think? I don't know, you? but I mean, I, well, I'll, I'll certainly sort of. You know, give him some musical the sort of uh, <laughs> lessons and stuff, and yeah. I'm sure Ben will keep him fit. Because was I was going to say, was Ben ever interested in music or not? Well, the, the weird thing is, not no, because as as a child, I always try I tried to get him to play drums and stuff like mm. that. He actually was not interested <laughs> until um, in his late teens and all that. He's then yeah. he. He started getting, you know, learning to play the guitar and stuff like that. Yeah. And probably because the rest of his friends were... I mean, he's always been into, in, in, into music and all that, but he never yeah. wanted to play it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now he's a massive, big Jimi Hendrix freak. Oh. And so he's uh, into the guitars and stuff. Yeah. And, um, you know, he plays a few rhythms and the drums as well. Yeah. So. Is he a Shawaddy Waddy fan? Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the blood, Romeo, isn't it? <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much uh, for, for talking to me uh, this afternoon. My and you're coming good. to Skegness yes. uh, on the 30th, so I hope you really enjoy it. Okay, yes, we've been, we've been to the embassy uh, many times, yeah. but it's always been good.
Well, thank you very much, Romeo. Romeo Challenger, uh, the drummer with Shawadi Wadi 